Sakura-chan, I know you think that it's impossible for Naruto to get the point that I like him, but you know what? I think I can do it. Especially tomorrow. Because you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. The day where lovers freely proclaim their love for each other. That'd be perfect. But I just don't know how to do it. I mean, do I go up to him and just say, I really like you, Naruto? That's not going to work. I know that on this day, lovers give each other gifts. What should I get Naruto? Well, he always eats ramen. But that's not special enough. I can give him ramen any time. Okay, wait, I know. How about I buy him some cookies? Like, heart-shaped cookies. You know what? No, that's not going to work either. Because then it wouldn't be for me. Someone else would have put their love into it. Wait, I know. I know. I'm going to go into the kitchen and I'll bake him some cookies. And I'll make them myself in the shape of a heart. Yeah, that's it. And then I'll go over to his house before he goes on a new mission. And I'll give them to him. And then I'll tell him how much I really like him and how long I've liked him. It's a perfect plan. How could it possibly go wrong? Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, everything will work out just the way I planned. Hopefully. Um, well, they say the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? So, for this Valentine's Day, I thought I'd make Naruto some heart-shaped cookies. I hope he likes those. I know he loves ramen, but I hope he likes something I make him. At least maybe then, he'll get the idea that I like him. I just hope I have the courage to actually give them to him. Okay, well let me not waste any time, because I have a lot of things to do. So, let's get right into the cooking. Okay, so, first we got to put in all this stuff into this beater. So we also got to put in some butter. It really looks crazy, but we did it. Now, we have to um, stir in the nuts. Okay, well, we're not using nuts. We're using morsels. And they're really sweet. I had a couple of them earlier. It's even better. Yummy. Okay. Anyway, so put these in. Okay, we're not going to do it that way because that was a mess. So, we're just going to mix these things in like so. Oh, God, these are going to be the worst cookies I've ever made in my life. Okay. Okay. Now it's actually the fun part where we actually make the cookies. So hold up. to the little form of a heart and the cookies are finally ready. Now all I have to do is actually bake them. That shouldn't take too long, right? Mm, they say it should be at least 11 minutes. So before I put them in, you guys want to see? Alright, hold on. These are the heart-shaped cookies that I'm making for Naruto. Don't they look delicious? I'm sure Naruto will love them. I mean, I put my heart and soul into these cookies. So, what do you guys think? And if you guys want one, um, just come over to the main Yuga estate and I'll give you one. So, now, all we gotta do is wait. Natsu-kun, I have a confession to make. 
I know this may seem a little weird, but I've been meaning to tell you this for a very long time. Before I do that, I just want to give you this. It's my Valentine's Day present to you. It's a cookie shaped like a heart. Hope you like it. I made it myself. At least it's better than Sakura's. At least that's what you always tell me. But why I'm here? Okay, Naruto, I've had these feelings inside of me for a very long time. And I haven't had the courage to tell you until now. On Valentine's Day. But, Naruto, I've liked you for a really long time. Ever since we were kids. When I first saw you, out there training all by yourself with that determined look in your eyes, I just fell in love with that. Everything about you. Even though people say you're a demon, I don't believe that. You're such a kind person, Naruto. And someday, I hope we can be more than just friends. That would mean a lot to me. So, please accept my feelings. Okay, I really didn't tell him in person. But trust me, Sakura-chan, I tried. I really tried. I mean, I went over to Naruto's place with that whole bag of cookies that I made for him. And I was so prepared to give them to him. But when I went to knock on his door, no one answered. I mean, I stood there for 15 minutes. So, after that, I went around the whole village. I mean, everywhere. I went to Ichigaki Ramen, the training area, even the hot spring. Naruto was nowhere to be found. So, after that, I went to Eno's. Maybe she knew where he was. And she told me that the 5th Okage sent him on a mission. On Valentine's Day? How am I supposed to tell him how I feel if Naruto's out on another mission? I mean, she knows how I feel. I mean, really. How could she do that to me? Send him on a mission. So, that the whole batch of cookies that I made for Naruto, I actually gave them to Kiba. And Kiba was really thrilled to get them. I mean, you know, until he actually ate them. <sighs> Well, I tried, right? The thought counts. So, I guess it really is impossible for me to tell him how I really feel. But I won't stop trying. I will tell him. Eventually. Maybe when he gets back. So, we'll keep trying, right, Sakura-chan? So, I better get going. Talk to you later.